first round with questions about you, and one round about you and one duration, and one round about you and your things. Awesome. Okay, first question. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. Are you excited? Really excited. Okay, good. Me too. And I cannot wait to hear you tonight. Thank you, yeah, it should be it should be a really, really fun concert tonight, so get excited. How old how old were you when you started singing? When I started singing, well, I've been singing my entire life, but I started singing professionally when I was about eight years old. That's awesome. What about school? Are you home studying or Yeah, I'm homeschooled, so I have a teacher who actually comes out on the road with me right now and um, we do school on Tour. <laughs> That's awesome. Amazing. Where are your parents? Are they at home? Or? Well, my my mom and dad were actually here, but then they decided to go home recently, and because um, they've been out here for a while. But I miss them. Of course you do. Um, do you have any siblings? I do. I have an older brother and or what? Well, younger brother and an older sister. Do you see them often? Um, I see my, my younger brother often, um, but my older sister, she's way older than me, so she's out of college and lives in, on her own. Okay. Then do you still talk to your friends from school? Yeah, I do. I talk to them all the time. I miss them so much, but I mean, I'm out here and they're excited for me to come back. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, what are you doing when you're not on stage? Um, when I'm not on stage, I am usually relaxing <laughs> if I'm on the tour. Um, if I'm not on tour and I'm just hanging out, I'm not in school, then I'll be outside playing soccer or, you know, just to be able to um, Do you have any rituals before I go on stage? Yes, I do. We actually all hold hands and we say a quick prayer, you know, bless my voice, bless the instruments, bless the audience. and. Then um, I just kind of go out there. Mm -hmm. um, what's the biggest audience you have performed for? Biggest audience I think was at the O2 Arena, mm -hmm. and we were performing for I think 23,000. That's really fun. Yeah. Hold on. I was at. Yeah, yeah. Let's just wait. I got. I got something in my eye. Mm -hmm. things are about traveling and seeing the world and performing in front of so many different people in such a large audience. Mm -hmm. um, but the hard part is, you know, being away from home for so long and working long days and long hours and not getting enough sleep mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. but I mean the good outweighs the bad always. Um, what, did you, what did you think about coming to Denmark? I was so excited. Um, one of my friends did a report on Denmark, so I, I don't know a whole too much about Denmark, but I really want to go out and see it. Mm -hmm. Have you heard a Danish song before? Mm -mm, I haven't. I, I, haven't. I think you should. I really should. We should Google that later. <laughs> um, then I have questions about you and One Direction. Um, how did you find out that you should sing for One Direction? Well, um, I actually... I went to one of their concerts when they first came over to the U.S., mm -hmm. and um, this is when they were still opening for uh, Big Time Rush, and I went and saw them, and um, that's kind of how my manager figured out who they were, because I begged him for tickets. Mm -hmm. And then about a month later, I got a call from him saying, how do you feel about going on tour with One Direction? Um. And I freaked out. I was so excited, and yeah. it's crazy. And um, I did a few shows with them, and they asked me back for their last two shows in the U.S. And then they asked me back again for their European uh, tour. So that's it was awesome. exciting. Now with me. <laughs> um, how is it to travel to such a big party? It's amazing. They're so nice, and they're very welcoming. 
So I feel like I'm at home, and um, it's just, it's been crazy. It's definitely surreal to me. I don't feel like this is actually happening. Um, I mean, I don't think, I think it would be hard for anyone, regardless of what their age is, but the fact that I still have to do school along with everything else, that definitely adds on a lot of difficulty, but um, I mean, I'm, I'm living the life right now. It's, it's fun, it's hard, but it's yeah. fun. Um, how is one person to work with? They're so sweet. I mean, when I first met them, they walked right up to me and introduced themselves. And I mean, they're, they're sweet, they're really sweet. Again, very welcoming. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, I wouldn't want to be on the road with anybody else right now. Um, are you in one direction good friends or is it just work? It's, it's more like just work for now. Um, it's just because there is that huge age gap. And yeah. I'm a girl, so it's a bit different. Um, but also, everyone's really working really hard. It's, it's been difficult. You get days where everything's, you know, kind of backed up and you have to, you know, work extra, extra hard. So it's such a huge show. So yeah. you want to really make sure everything's packed together. And so we all kind of just try and hide away and <laughs> do our own thing and relax. Yeah. Um, what's the funniest thing you have seen before you told my dressing Oh goodness, um, funniest thing, uh, they've done crazy things, <laughs> um, on stage or off stage? Uh, uh, off stage. Off stage, alright, um, I've definitely seen <laughs> all of them ride the Segway mm -hmm. and then try to run over people, <laughs> so like go up really fast and then skip and then just kind of freak out and make people scream. Like, I was one of those people who screams all the time. So, I don't know, they're constantly doing crazy things. Harry is constantly playing pranks on everyone, yeah. flipping signs, you know, all that crazy stuff. What about you, that's the most we hear, do funny things that you ever did that to you? Um, yeah, definitely. I, I haven't seen much of Lily. Lily usually hides away. Um, the same and Liam's around, but not all that much. I, I really have seen um, Harry and Niall the most in total, but there's that, all of them are goofballs. They're all really cool guys. Um, if you should choose one of the girls from one direction to go on a date, who would you choose and why? I can't pick all of them. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it would either be Harry or Niall just because I feel like I, I know them the most right now. Yeah. But honestly, everyone, I can't. It's hard and to And they don't have girlfriends, so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Works out. Um, who, how is one person the hard one? Um, what were you? What were your reactions when you think one person? I screamed. I screamed so loud. I was so excited. I mean, this is a dream come true for me. It's exciting. And here's some questions from your fans. Um, do you have any pets? I do. I do have a lot of pets. We have four dogs. Um, I have my personal dog, Lulu. Um, she's like this big. I miss her so much. Um, and then we have a few fish. We have, I think, three lizards. Mm -hmm. Those are my brothers, though. But yeah, um, I have crazy two and that's my brothers. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just those. And then we have a few fish in like a pond outside. Yeah. Um, do you have an idol? I have many idols. Um, I love Beyonce, the band Fun, um, well, One Direction. <laughs> um, everyone's Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, um, Maya Carey, Christina Aguilera. The list can go on and on and on. Do you have favorite song? Favorite song? I really love All Your Mother's Army of Two right now. That's good. I think it's I think it's so fun. It puts me in a really cool mood. I love the melody. Yeah. Um, if you not could be a singer, what would you be? If I wasn't singing, I'd be acting, for sure. And I definitely want to add acting into my career along the line, but we'll see. Have you tried to act? Definitely. I've done I've done a few things, but nothing nothing too big.
Do we fan fiction? I have before. They're definitely interesting. I think they're funny. And they're they're very clever sometimes. Before we end, I was can you say some few things? Oh goodness, okay. Okay. Try to say well, wait, how do you say it? Well, how, how does that spell? Yeah, that's a little rehab in the That means in English, red porridge with cream. Oh, what does it mean? Uh, red porridge with cream. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Try to say it in one sentence. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, well, let's try it one more time. Well, well, Wait, I can't do this. <laughs> okay, one word. Okay. Well, 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 Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so, well, 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 That sounds good. <laughs> I um, sound so American <laughs> when I do it. <laughs> Is there something you could, you would try to say things? Um, I mean, if I if I knew how to, I don't know. I, I, well, how do you say what's up, Denmark? What's up, Denmark? What's up, Denmark? Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. You could move to Denmark. Fun. Thanks for this. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.